Here uh, I'm trying to make a, an extra blade for my ceiling fan windmill. Uh, I've seen of course Muddy's uh, way of doing it and I've also seen uh, Dan Rojas from Green Power Science. Uh, he was uh, cutting the blades with a saw table and he was setting his uh, uh, blade to uh, 15, uh, 20 degrees. So I have chosen 15 degrees and I have cut my blades like this with a saw table and uh, I want to do muddies but there's too much hand carving. I don't know if uh, there's a compromise way of doing it. Uh, so what I'm doing is I cut the blade with the saw, saw table and then uh, you see the black part here that's the part that I'm going to cut out and then this leading edge will be rounded and tapered at the end here and uh, that would be sort of like uh, Muddy's uh, blade but I know with his blade this should be flat and then should twist a few degrees so that uh, the whole blade itself would be flat on this side and preferably uh, as thin as possible. So that's where I'm at now. I'm maybe trying to do it the easy way, maybe like a compromise way uh, using the saw table to cut uh, the other blade that I had made before. I just I just did it very quickly because I was using the axial flux rotor and with that uh, you don't need much to turn it, you don't need much torque but with the axial flux I think uh, the pitch of the blade would probably have to be you know more like this for it to turn otherwise I don't think it will turn uh, I think uh, as long as it will turn, it doesn't have to turn very fast, the ceiling fan motor will uh, will give off some power. So that's where I'm at now. Uh, I know this is not really the uh, lift type muddy blade, but I'm trying to pick in a quick way of doing it. So that's where I'm at now. And of course, uh, this little toy windmill is turning. Doesn't make any electricity when it's turning like this. Even when it's turning fast, I think it's only uh, quick enough to uh, charge a small, uh, maybe like a 5 amp hour, 12 volt battery. Uh, but it, it's not uh, quite as uh, powerful as the ceiling fan motor. So, uh, I really have no place to put this in my backyard, uh, but I would, just the same, I would just like to make one and see uh, how it turns. Uh, I can't really put it high up. Maybe I'll put it where the uh, 99 cents uh, wind ornament is and see how it will uh, turn in. Uh, good wind. So here's the rough cut of uh, Muddy's blade. I have a lot of uh, sanding to do to round this off and to make this more taper. Uh, I don't know if I can uh, make the last few inches uh, to twist it so that it's more flat, but that's certainly something I can try. So Of course, I think I have to do a little balancing of it. But I'm sure if there's like a 15 mile wind or something, this will turn. It's just that the, how efficient the blades are, that's the question. Because it's not really uh, done the right way. Uh, okay. 
Let's see how this works out. 